Welcome back to Mountain Connections. I'm very much looking forward to this conversation with Dr. Melissa Lopez Larson. She is an adolescent psychiatrist here in Park City and has just written a book. Thanks so much, Dr. Lopez Larson, for being here today. Thank you so much. So tell me about your new book. So my book is um, basically I put together a seven strategy program for parents uh, to help their children struggle, who are struggling with depression, tackle the depression and get back into college. So the book was primarily written to help parents kind of navigate the mental health system and the educational system, which is kind of tricky in this kind of age group because um, a lot of these kids are adults technically, mm -hmm. but they still have a lot of adolescent struggles. And so this uh, book really guides parents step by step on, on how to find the right treatment, how to put together a really good collaborative team to help their child and get them back on track and into the right college. This is such a formative age mm -hmm. and it's really a group that I feel like isn't discussed as much with mental health. Right. I'm really thankful that you that mm -hmm. you wrote this. It will mm -hmm. help many parents and many kids, students right. as well. Right, right, right. <laughs> and you know, I really targeted towards individuals age 17 up to maybe 23, 24. And this is a really difficult transition for a lot of young adults. And if they get stuck or get in trouble, they wind up having to go to more of an adult mental health care facilities and treatments. And sometimes those are not quite the right place for them. And so this book really talks about what are the optimal treatment uh, team, how to kind of put it together a good treatment team for your young adult. <laughs> and then also just make sure that you're focusing on the right types of treatment. And it really walks um, you through uh, treatments from a very collaborative and holistic approach. I also include a lot about um, wellness and self-care and focus a lot, focusing a lot about exercise, diet, and nutrition, which I think is also really important for this age group. It really is. Yeah. I was reading a little bit in the beginning of the book mm -hmm. and you share a story about a mom and a son and her son mm -hmm. gets sent home from school right. because of an issue with his mental health, mm -hmm. a very serious issue. Right. He gets hospitalized inpatient, then comes home and she can't find the help she needs. Right. And that really resonated at least with me when we started having mm -hmm. difficulties in our family. I knew that he needed help, but I could right. not find help. The waiting list was too long. Right. Right. It was just so hard, which was very surprising, and I mm -hmm. felt very helpless. Right. Well, and I think that's what I was trying to, to accomplish with this, is, is letting parents know that there's a lot of different types of resources out there, and depending on how critical the issue is, you need to go to maybe a, a crisis center first and then a step down to more of an outpatient treatment. Do they really need inpatient? So I'm really trying to address where they should start looking for their care, um, whether it be going to your pediatrician, calling your insurance saying, okay, who's on panel? How can I get my child in sooner rather than later? But a lot of people don't know that there really are some really great um, crisis centers that can actually see your kid within you know, one to two days, if not even that day in the area. And so it's really important to know that throughout the country, not just up here in Park City, but in Salt Lake, in Denver, I mean, you know, who, where can you call, who can you call right now to get your child the care that they need, you know, in the moment? And to me, that's the most crucial time to intervene. And that's what makes your book so helpful. Mm -hmm. You're sharing stories from your practice mm -hmm. as well as practical tips on what to do, Correct. which is just invaluable. Yeah, I mean, I really wanted to make this um, a very bare bones, but, but, but get cut to the chase kind of a, a book for parents and, and their child to really go through and say, okay, what really are the issues driving this? Because sometimes people have depressive symptoms, but they're not actually depressed. So what else is going on? Is it peer issues? Is it academics? Do they have an undiagnosed learning issue? Um, are they just struggling with the campus? Are they not fitting in? Is it not the right atmosphere for them? So I really try to go through um, an approach to help parents and their child figure out what is the cause of my depressive symptoms and how can I then approach a treatment strategy that's going to work for them and get them back into school. My daughter is in college right now as well as my son and I have to say with her experience most of the people she has met are struggling with some sort of mental health issue yes. and she's called and asked us how she can help and what she should do. Mm -hmm. So people think this isn't a big issue, that they're absolutely wrong. There's so right. many young adults are struggling mm -hmm. and do you find that they're having an easier time acknowledging it and recognizing it in this day and age or is there still that stigma? Well, first of all, I think there's been a lot of research out there that's suggesting that these that kids in college are struggling more and more with mental health issues. And I do feel like colleges are becoming more and more aware of that, and they're trying to increase their approach to mental health treatments, increasing their access to care. They're also trying to develop more resources around wellness and academic supports. The question is, if you don't know that the school has those 
those availability, you know, that those types of services, then you don't know how to ask for them, you don't know how to get them. And so that's kind of a, a lot of another thing that I try to tackle in the book is how to access the, those services while your child is at school so that they really know how to get the, you know, the services they need. And when you're far away as a parent, that can right. be terrifying. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I have noticed, at least with my daughter's experience, that they are talking more about it. They are communicating mm -hmm. with each other, and mm -hmm. that's very, very helpful. And mm -hmm. we're hoping that with more conversations about mental right. health, we can really help people not feel judged or feel alone when they struggle. Absolutely. And then that's the thing, you know, when you feel really down, you start to isolate, and then you start believing that you are the only one struggling with this problem. So having more awareness, um, recognize it, that everybody kind of struggles. And this is an actually a normal time to struggle. This age group, yeah. this transition period is quite normal. So just knowing that and having the support of your peers and the college and your parents, I think, can be very, very just very feeling very supportive and cared for. Yeah. Definitely. Where can we get yeah. your book? So right now it's available on Amazon um, as an e-book and it should be coming out in the fall as a hard copy book as well. Well, congratulations. Yes. You're a published author. Mm -hmm. You see patients here in Park City. Where they can do. we get more information? You can go to my website, um, which is drlsquare.com. Um, you can also just call me on my office phone number. I also have a Facebook page um, as well. There's Melissa Lopez Larson, MD. And you can definitely access me in a multitude of ways. Well, thank you so much for being here, Dr. Lopez Larson. Thank you so much. Always an honor. I always learn things, and I think you're really doing great things within the mental health sphere here. So thank you. Thank you so much. All right, the book is My Child Is Not Depressed Anymore by Dr. Melissa Lopez Larson. Really an invaluable tool, whether you are a young adult or you're parenting young adults, or you're just looking forward to that time with your family, you definitely wanna check that out. All right, we have more coming up right after this.